Gia. 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 Got my nigga cheese in this bitch. Midwest. Midwest UGK, nigga. Oh, we already know. Gia. I said my hands on this money. I'm caught up in this lifestyle. This hundred round drummy. Hit a knock a nigga right down. My dope on my scale. If he knockin' watch lights out, my spot do be booming. I'm caught up in this lifestyle. My hands on this money. I'm caught up in this lifestyle. You already know what time it is. It's that time. Let me tell you something, though. Before we get to it, man, make sure y'all strike that like button. Make sure y'all step on that subscribe button. Ding the notification bell, man. It's time for that. Culture for the streets, man. We here. We gonna get right to it, though. We gonna get right to it, though. CEO Jizzle. Shout out to CEO Jizzle. For people that don't know who CEO Jizzle is, he one of the steppers. He one of the he one of the he one of them ones from Double R, man. We seen him recently with ties to PRE. We know him as Dolph Cousin. And we know that CEO Jizzle ain't just a regular nigga outside, man. He really one of them ones. Like when you gotta you got to put respect on certain people's name. He one of them ones you got to put respect on his name. Simple as that. You got to put respect on his name. But at the same time, what come with that? It make you a target. And we've been seeing that CEO Jizzle has been a target. That's something that comes with being the biggest op. That's something that comes with being a street dude with a big reputation. It's something that you are unable to even escape when that's when you that caliber of a person because we know how this go. When you the baller, the jack boys want you. When you a gangster, the other gangsters want you because they get points off that. They build up their reputation off of getting at you. And this come with that. But we also know that CEO Jizzle ain't just one of them dudes that be outside talking. He also got his foot on the front line. CEO Jizzle, CEO Jizzle got his hands and his feet in the streets of Memphis, heavy. So for people that know what kind of nigga he is, we not only understand what's going on, but we expect it. That don't mean we want it to go on, but we expect it. Street niggas understand these situations, bro. When you get at folks, when you stand on folks, and the people that you getting at got the same respect on their side, the same, they feed in the street the same way on their side. They got the respect and the loyalty and the muscle on their side. You go at them. You can't expect for they whole side not to want to turn you into a target and get on you. It don't matter. The pressure going to be on. And then on top of that, your name itself hold weight. So, yeah, they going to get at you. So the whole incident at Lil Baby concert, and we we seen Lil Baby, bro. If anybody seriously think, now I understand why. The whole issue with 21 Savage. In full PF with the whole Marlo allegations, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's really no response with Lil Baby with that. You see what I'm saying? Because seeing that video of Lil Baby, seeing what's going on, and he and he headed for the hills, it just let me know that when it's popping off, Lil Baby ain't standing on business. 
little baby heading for the hills, bro. But to see the whole incident, like we seen Glorilla footage, it's people talking in the background. They implicating PRE being right there, CMG being right there. So we don't know if this is a little Migo get back. But understand this, even if this is get back for little Migo, if this is get back for little Migo, because this could be a bunch of things. When you're dealing with a nigga like CEO Jizzle that got a lot going on, it might not just be that situation. This could be something else. But if this has something to do with that, it really don't matter who it has something to do with. That's Memphis. These niggas know each other out in the streets. They heard about each other. They know each other. They know people that know people that know people. They 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 know each other. For anybody to know the caliber of a dude that CEO Jizzle is and what he belonged to. And when I say what he belonged to, I'm talking about double R. Double R ain't just no little niggas outside of Memphis, man. You got Young Ma. You got double R. You got True Love. Them three side, them three groups right there, they treacherous. So if you think a nigga that got ranked like CEO Jizzle within Double R and in the city of Memphis, niggas know how he's stepping, how Double R stepping. If y'all think this don't come with get back. If you don't think this finna turn Memphis up even more, don't forget before this happened, they tried to get CEO Jizzle while he was taking out the garbage. It's a good thing. That's how watching that video of CEO Jizzle spotting the demo about to go down, it saved his life, bro. But that also let me know that he got his feet in the street so much that his head always on the swivel. That he not, mentally, he not lacking no kind of weight when it comes to making sure he make it home, bro. Because you can tell in that video just how they came for him that they got respect for that man. And I'm going to bust this down for you real quick on why they got respect for CEO Jizzle in the city of Memphis. I'm talking about his ops. Why? Let me see. First off, 15 dudes went to go get one dude. Now, if, you, if it ain't no respect on your name, if you ain't got no reputation, if you ain't a real reputable outside, nigga, 15 niggas ain't going to group up to come get one nigga. Let me tell you something. If 15 niggas got to group up to go get one nigga, what that say about the 15 niggas? Because not one nigga out of them 15 niggas was bounded enough to step by themselves. It took 15 people to go get at this man, and they still didn't get him. So that lets you know how serious of a dude CEO Jizzle is. That lets you know how serious it is for CEO Jizzle in them streets, too. Yeah, Lil Migo situation going to add to it. But besides Lil Migo it, it, situation, CEO Jizzle was the nigga he was prior to that whole Lil Migo situation. CEO Jizzle was outside stepping prior to the Lil Migo situation. So let's not just make it seem like this the only thing CEO Jizzle got going on, bro. Double R, some steppers. Yes, they got ops in the city of Memphis. He double R. Them ops is yours too. Not to just mention them ops of they set. You got ties to PRE. So you inherit they ops too. You see what I'm saying? So to be the caliber of a dude he is, it makes him a big target. And when you a target, niggas thrive in trying to knock that target down. But at the same time, you got to understand. When you go for your demo and you ain't successful, it's get back behind that too. And the get back ain't gonna be, it ain't gonna be a nice get back, bruh. And the reason why I say it's not gonna be a nice get back because y'all tried to take one. 
y'all was unsuccessful. If y'all think niggas gonna play with y'all now, after that, man, niggas got the game messed up. It's definitely going to be a response. It's definitely going to be get back. It's most definitely going to be retaliation. Man, we talking about CEO Jism. Look what's going on with Dolph. They've been tearing, Memphis been tearing stuff up for decades, right? It's been a rough city. But it went up some notches too when Dolph, when they took Dolph. There's been a lot of sliding going on in Memphis since then. And a lot of it don't got nothing to do with that, but a lot of it do got something to do with that. And then here we go with CEO Jizzle, a figure in his camp. So if y'all think this going to bring peace, if y'all think this going to bring a peace treaty, man, you niggas is crazy. You niggas is crazy. Like I said, man, get well, CEO Jizzle, man. Stay dangerous. Because them streets of Memphis is mean, bruh. And when I say they mean, we seeing what's going on. Memphis has become an epicenter of content for niggas on YouTube. When it's been Chicago for a decade. That lets you know how intense it is in Memphis right now. For them to really actually kind of take the light off of Chicago. As far as what's going on in the streets. And y'all think what's going on with these niggas in Memphis is just something to talk about. Nah, nigga. Every time something happened out there. It's turning up the smoke in the street up a notch, man. Because niggas don't forget and forgive. Niggas don't forget and forgive. Niggas respond, niggas retaliate, niggas get even, niggas get back. And if you think CEO Jizzle recovering from these wounds, thinking about settling down, calming down, man, y'all niggas got the game messed up. Because if you shoot me, you have to worry every day. If we have a real problem, you have to worry every day. I might not necessarily even be looking for you. But if we bump into each other and it goes south, you got to understand. So I don't expect him to think no differently, bro. Understand what's going on in Memphis, man. Rest in peace, Dolph, man. Shout out Memphis, man. Tap in, hit that like button, man. Drop them comments, what y'all think, man. Going on with Double R CEO Jizzle, man. Get back. The response gonna be get back, bro. That's just how this go, man. It's time for that culture for the streets. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ding the notification bell. Welcome to the trap. Do not leave out till you've been serving. We serving a day live from the block, just like that. Culture for the streets, hosted by Mafia and Paint. We out of here.